In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to create and save canvas size presets. So hi guys and welcome back to a new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to create and save canvas size presets. So let's get right into it. First of all, I'm going to go back to file and simply hit new. Now directly we'll be brought to a box where you can put all your settings in. Once you hit OK, a Photoshop document will open and on there we go into Photoshop. So as we do in our, all of our tutorials. If I'm going to hit OK, you guys can see over here we've been brought to a new window and this is basically now the new window we'll be working in and doing all our fancy stuff. Again, what I want to do quickly is just switch back over here. So we're back to the start and again let's go to File and New again. Okay, so for the first start that you want to do now is obviously under your presets here, you want to choose a name for your canvas. So again, today I'm going to just write here canvas. So this is the uh, name that I've chosen now. But you feel free to use anything that you like or that suits your needs. For instance, client name, then you put it in there. Or again, the brand name, put it in there. Then over here under preset, you guys can see this whole box here combines all of these settings here. So the preset already determines everything that's underneath. So this is already my custom settings. Let's maybe switch this to default Photoshop settings. So basically you will be brought to something that looks like this. So don't get confused. It's very simple. Actually open it again. And first of all, under these settings here, the custom settings from Photoshop, you have a few presets already. So again, US paper, international paper, photo, web, mobile devices, film and video. Let's maybe select international paper. So you will be brought to these settings and everything is done again for you. You can actually just hit OK and start working directly. But obviously you don't know what size and what you're working on. So have a look over here. Under size, you guys can see that there are again a few presets to choose from A4 paper, A5, A6, whatever. So let's maybe select A6 over here and you will also see that that changed again. On the right hand side here, under the dimensions, you can also choose again pixel inches and also customly change this again and hit OK so you will be brought again to the new canvas size or again just go with these settings so again let's go back to the top maybe mobile devices again as you guys can see things change again also the resolution goes a little bit lower so it's nice and quick loading quickly again I'm gonna go back to the size here and again you guys can see there are a few tons more of some different sizes so let's maybe go with this 480 here and again, this also goes to pixel ratio. So everything is done for you. Super simple. Let's also go maybe here to custom and talk a little bit about this because I like to work with a custom as well. Okay, so select custom as well. And first of all, I need to also choose now my own pixel and height with all of that. So again, first of all, I'm going to start out here with pixel ratio and I'm going to work with the width of 1920 pixels and the height of 1080. Now this is due to my screen recorder that I have here on my screen. You guys will most probably have something different. So again if you want to and starting out maybe choose something here from the standard presets that you get from Photoshop. Again important for me resolution around 300 dpi so it's just nice and a good quality and everything looks sharp and as well here pixel pixel everything is set. Now when it comes to color mode I normally work under SR or just RGB color profile. This might be a little bit different with your color services for uh, first of all with your people the guys that print actually for you and as well with uh, your screen depends on what you use so you have to read up on that a little bit in the internet. I'm mostly working with RGB color and as well switch this to 32 bit um, normally for the tutorials I'll keep it down to 8 bit to 16 bit so it's not um, lagging with the screen recording but normally otherwise 32 bit so it's nice and high quality great then also down here background contents again how do you want to start out do you want to be brought to a screen with a white background or do you want to have a background color or transparent? I normally go with just white, so that brings me just to white background. Then also here under the advanced settings again, if we open that, or oh, it's open already, I work again here with the sRGB color profile, as you guys can see over here. Normally for photography stuff, Adobe RGB 1998, but for the design stuff here, sRGB. Now again, as I said earlier, this also depends on your color profile from your printer services, so maybe phone them before or find out um, what they use, and then you can also adjust your stuff accordingly. 
Also down here, pixel aspect ratio. I didn't even play with this before. I just went with the standard setting square pixels. Okay, so that's basically all. Once I'm done, I'm going to hit OK and that will bring me again back to my new canvas. But before I do that now, I actually want to just go over here and hit save. So this will basically save it now as a new document preset, as you guys can now see over here. So again, canvas or document, same name in a way. Again over here, I like to call my preset name actually exactly the size that I have, so I know exactly what I'm choosing. But if you guys want to put again a new name and you can also always save it under that new name. Again here, include also resolution mode, bit depth, content profile and pixel aspect ratio. So everything is selected because we've already chosen everything here. That's OK. Hit OK. Oh, I've already saved this so I can't resave it again as you guys can see over here. So I've already got this. But you should literally just hit OK and you have it over here. Then next time when you open Photoshop, just select it, everything is done for you and you can literally just hit OK. So it just speeds up your workflow again. Also if you want to delete a certain preset here, just select it again as I did and hit delete preset. Great, yeah, so that's basically all for this Photoshop tutorial as well. If you guys like this tutorial, do hit me up with a thumbs up. Also have a look at the other tutorials that we've created already on this channel. And again, don't forget to share this with all your buddies that are new to this. Thanks again guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.